Number five. Uh, so this is a little bit of a uh, trick one um, and it's meant to, uh, for you to make sure you're reading it. Uh, in a typical tenant office construction, so uh, it's an office building, bunch of tenants in the building, so it uses the word tenant, so there's lots of different people. Uh, the supply system is usually ducted plenum, always cooling, a VAV box. Um, the thought here is that ducted seems way too simple of an answer. Um, that plenum is a little kind of, well, that sounds like a good word. Um, VAV box, that also sounds like kind of something interesting. The answer is actually A, ducted. Um, in a typical system, in a typical office, uh, I'm gonna have a drop ceiling. I'm gonna have uh, uh, people working in the office, uh, sitting at desks, uh, doing all what they're gonna do. And I have this big space above uh, the uh, ceiling where I'm going to be bringing a ducted supply. It's going to go all over the building and it's especially going to go over uh, near the perimeter windows. Let's say we've got windows over here. Uh, and it's going to blow air into that space and it's going to, that air is going to blow through and kind of keep everybody nice and conditioned. Uh, and then let me make clear my ceiling here. Um, and then we're going to put uh, essentially holes into that ceiling. Um, those holes will probably look very similar to uh, the typical supply vent uh, register, but there's going to be a hole into that ceiling. And that uh, uh, whole space up here, the entire uh, interstitial space above the ceiling and below the uh, structural deck is going to be the plenum area. And that plenum area is going to be attached to a duct uh, that's going to be the return duct uh, and the supply ducts are going to be attached to those original ducts that we talked about. Um, and that return duct then essentially incorporates that entire interstitial space. So if I have the air handling unit pushing air out through the supply system, then it will automatically by, uh, create a vacuum behind it and it's gonna pull air from behind it. Well, where's it gonna pull from? It's gonna pull from the trunk lines of the return system. Where are they gonna pull from? They're gonna pull from the branch lines of the return system. Where are the branch lines gonna pull from? Well, they're gonna pull from these plenum spaces. So all of this space is essentially gonna be a way for the air to get a sort of vacuum, kind of pull that air up through and it's gonna want all by itself to get up into that space uh, because of that sort of vacuum pull. And when all of that happens correctly, that means that this thing is sort of pumping air out into the space, into the locations that you need it and want it, typically over by the edges, uh, by the perimeter, uh, and then allowing uh, the return air to find its way up into the plenum, uh, and then from there into the return system, and then from there back into the air handling unit where it gets reconditioned and blown out as supply air. And as other things, you have some outside air that gets added in, some maybe humidification or dehumidification that happens along the way. But that, that's the gist of that system. This is, you know, of those sort of office tenant uh, kinds of scenarios, this is probably 80% of it is just like this. Uh, so uh, very, very common. If this thing had said uh, the return system here, uh, I would have said the answer was B, plenum, but because it's talking about the supply system, it would be ducted. Um, it's quite possible uh, that you could actually have it the other way. Uh, you could have a plenum supply system. Uh, doesn't happen as often in this kind of scenario for various reasons, but it could. So there's lots of different ways you could do it, but at least 80% of the time it's gonna be something like this, and so that would be much more expected on the exam. One question here is, um, is the VAV box not the correct answer based on the fact that it's only a part of a ducted system? Yeah, the VAV box, um, the, the thing that you don't know is that uh, uh, the supply, like I said, the vast majority of the time it's gonna be ducted but you don't necessarily know that it's gonna be a VAV box. Um, that could be um, a variable air volume box, a VAV box. It could be a CAV box, a constant air volume box. 
It could be uh, that it's some mix of those two. It could be, uh, there's a sort of whole range. The VAVs are just a pretty common one, but there's a number of other common ones as well. Uh, and so, yeah, it's, that's a, not a bad answer, but I don't think it's as good an answer as just being ducted, um, because that's really in, in play with uh, the, the idea of the plenum. Um, but yeah, I, I hear the question, and I think it's a, that's a good question. Uh, it's just that there's a lot of other choices as well. Mm -hmm.